If you want to set yourself up for long-term success in your athletic career, one thing is certain, prepare for constant change. Literally what I'm doing right now, like time out, look at my room. Turkey and today I have medicals so I'm going to head to get medicals I'm so tired I want to sleep at 4 in the morning So I just got back from doing all my medical stuff. I am exhausted from the stress test, from MRI to all that stuff. We have practice later and we have game tomorrow. I'm gonna try to lay down and get some food, get some rest before practice. Turkey's nice though, there's traffic. There's traffic for sure. But yeah. Salmon salad. With the good old lamby chops, fire. Wait, Lila, don't record me. <laughs> God, I'm like changing his diaper. <clears throat> is this hold on a second xl this is an xl this is for wait joe look is it nike no billy nice quality but just i guess that oh they have a nice big jacket Okay, check me out. Prada me down now. Me Gucci me down. Gucci. Oh, nice My bags finally made it here. Thank you. It's literally impossible to move in here. There's just stuff everywhere. If you're wondering why I'm drinking so much water, I played 32 minutes tonight. I got here two days ago. We got the wind though, that's all that matters. So I'm about to order some food, go ride the bike for a little bit, talk to my family. But yeah, finally got the first win. Um, excited, excited to be here. Shout out to all the FS fans, shout out to the coaches, shout out to the management, shout out to the teammates, shout out to everyone, shout out to everyone. All right, all right so since the gym wasn't open, I'm just gonna do my compression boots, but this is what you need to plug in to here in order to not blow up your machine. So when I pack it, I said I, my wife packs it, we always put it on something like that, so that's probably just something that I need. Put that in there. So then we wrap it up like that, and it stays protected. Comes with a bag, but bags are just, you just gotta limit your space. Not that you guys asked or anything, but the reason I put the pillows there is to elevate my legs. That way I can get some more lactic acid out of my legs. So.
You know the vibe skis? Oh, what? Oh, they're hooking it up now. Rice, fries, okay. All right, I didn't do too much filming, but today we went apartment hunting, and obviously I'm not gonna show you guys where we're looking because I don't think I'd be safe for my family, but Turkey has some nice apartments, to say the least. Finally getting adjusted, not sleep-wise, but feeling more comfortable in a sense. I just wanted to read something for you guys because this really hit home with me for all my fellow basketball players, athletes who are trying to make that next step. So this is from my guy, Justin Sua. If you want to set yourself up for long-term success in your athletic career, one thing is certain, prepare for constant change. Literally what I'm doing right now, like time out, look at my room. Like, I don't know where half the stuff is. I know it's here. Like, it's just a mess, right? Next thing, environments change, coaches change, teammates change, your role changes, your body changes, opponents change their approach. Which is like so true, no matter if you're NBA, overseas, college, like understand that that stuff is gonna happen and being able to figure out a way to manage that. And for me, it's about family, gospel, and routine. That's what keeps me grounded. If I can get my routine wherever I am, watch my shows, do my meditation, read my scripts, then I mean, basketball is basketball, right? Like, I think that's essentially what Justin Sue is trying to say. I thought I would share that with you guys. I thought if I knew that earlier in my career, at a younger age, it would definitely help me. Understanding that change is inevitable. It's gonna happen. Embrace it. Learn to adapt to different environments. That is it for me. So today is another game day. Today is October 23rd. I slept the best I've ever slept since I've been here last night. It's because I made the room super cold. But I'm starting to get into my routines, my journaling, my meditation, and starting to flow a little bit more. So starting to feel a little bit better. That's a refreshing sight. They cleaned up for me. Wow. You hung up my <sighs> organized my <sighs> Jin Jin, where are you at? I know you're in here somewhere, Jenny. Today, I will be playing my first Turkish League game. Say hi, Blue. Say hi, Blue. Say hi. Say hi to the people. So this is all my gear. Whoa, this is even all of that. Some in here, and I have some in the suitcase over there as well. Sorry guys, it's been a few days. It's we lost to a team called called Gala Tazra. I haven't really been stressed, just been like trying to catch up on sleep, trying to figure out what's going on, I'm like adjust the new culture. We went and played in Pana, got smacked. I'm so tired of eating the freaking hotel food, so I ordered some Chinese food. Really not my diet, but I couldn't eat a hotel food again. Tomorrow we play Zagiris. One thing I can say is that if you're a professional athlete, no matter NBA, whatever you're doing, get used to being uncomfortable and having to adjust to new situations. We are headed to our first, uh, my first away Turkish League game, so let's get to it. Oh, 
I think they gave me the wrong room. Kidding me? This is the penthouse? Oh, and G. What's that say? What is this? Why? Why more desserts? I don't need that. Wait, what? I got the penthouse joint. All right, so my teammate brought me this dessert. It's supposed to be local from here. Let's try it. Good. No frosting. Is it like a pudding? Like a pudding with nuts. Pause. All right, so you guys know I've been here for five days, and a lot's happened in five days. I played two games. Played four games now, but anyways, my throat's not feeling good. Like, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting kind of sick. Don't have my emergency here with me. At least I don't think I did. I'm gonna check. Actually, let me check real quick. I honestly don't know if that's a thing to gargle salt water to get like the germs out but I think I've seen it on Instagram somewhere somehow okay we're well, now about to get some sleep we are actually in what's the area called I'll tell you what the area is called I'll show you right here so about to get some sleep man game tomorrow Bursa versus where I'm at. All right, so that's what I take to help me stay in deep sleep for a long time. I used to take melatonin a lot, but I would just feel drowsy. Does anyone else feel like after you take melatonin in the morning, you like get great sleep? And if you're wondering how I track my sleep, it's usually either an aura ring or a whoop. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a link for the aura ring, but I do have a link for the whoop that you can check out in the description. But with the, this new sleep stack that I got from my friend Adam, at Ace Athletics, my sleep has been tremendous. Like, I used to be so anxious about sleeping. Now, like, I'm halfway across the world and I can sleep like a baby, so. I love it, to say the least. or at least since COVID, when I get a sore throat, I'm like, do I have COVID? But I don't think I have COVID. I hope I don't have COVID. I still got a great recovery on my whoop, which is insane. I got like a 70% recovery, which before I would die to have a 70%. Now I'm about to go to the gym, shoot around, same old, same old.
Well, it's officially nap time before the game. My nap, I'm, I'm gonna tell you my pregame ritual. So usually now I come and I wake up in the morning, meditate, uh, read some scripts, journal, and then I go to my shoot around, all that stuff. I come back and I always read a church talk before I watch my YouTube or whatever, before I go to sleep. Then I call my family, tell them I love them, and then take my nap. Then wake up, say prayers as a family, head to the game. What what rituals do you guys have as well? Like, what are your pre-game, pre-work, pre-career rituals that you do to stay in a routine? Say hello, family. Boy, Mr. Shark Boy for Halloween. Hi. Thank you. Today is my own media day for my new team, so come and check it out. What's up, man? I was coming to out to see you. This is for me? What is this? Space jail? What the? Come on, what is this, G? This is OD. Treat me like Giannis out here. I swear I can't make this up. So I went to this seafood place down by the hotel. What are all these little containers? And guess how much this little bit of food costs? $45. It was a lot? All right, so I'm finally moving to my new apartment. Um, it's I'm sick. It's time to get out of this place. It's, I just need new vibes. New vibes I need. Mm -hmm. 